Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of The Daily Dish. My name is Valerie and I'm super excited to introduce you to my guest today. Please make a very welcome Scott Eneje. Hi. <laughs> How are you doing, Scott? How are you feeling? I'm well. Thank I'm you well. so much for coming on the show today. Thank you for having me. Have you had a good week so far? So far, I'm so in good. In the middle. In the middle, yes. I mean. Sweet, it's just sweet in the middle. Yes, in the sweet middle. In the middle. <laughs> I don't it's sweet. It's been just, it's just average. Middle, yes. So, out of 10, five? Yes, five. Okay, fair enough. That's half. That's yeah. not, not bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. So, let's get right into it. You're the founder of Digivo. Yes. Tell us what it's about. Um, so, it's a digital evolutions company. Mm -hmm. um, digital solutions, basically to help companies who are looking to... Um, take their businesses online. You want okay. to have a website, you want okay. to understand the digital landscape. Mm -hmm. um, I sort of set it up just to help people who, especially small business owners who are looking to set up structures and can't or couldn't afford it. So that's sort of like why oh, I said that. Oh, okay. So I was about to ask what inspired your journey and obviously you just said it, that you were looking to like support small business owners that couldn't afford to. Yep. So considering that your business started from something so like generous, I would say, what is the biggest issue or the biggest challenge that you faced trying to be a startup founder for such a program in Nigeria? So it's not my first. You're not your first radio. Yeah, yes, <laughs> okay. it's not my first. Um, but I think it's the experience from the first one that mm -hmm. kind of pushed me to this. Obviously. Um, so I started this e-commerce company a couple of years ago mm -hmm. and we got funding. And it was at the time when e-commerce was just beginning to like play in the markets. Mm -hmm. And um, I lost all my money. And we lost all of our money. Oh my God. And then we shut down. We're part of those companies that, you know, go all the way up. And then, you know, they just crash. And then I went into depression. Very sorry to hear <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. I tried to, like, smile about it. Cause, mm -hmm. um, and when I talk about it, I talk about the fact that I remember staying on my couch for months. Mm -hmm. I wasn't doing anything because it felt like the world was ending. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. So and being in that place where I couldn't get support, I didn't know what to do. To be honest, I didn't know much about, like, actually running a company at the time and there was no one like telling me policies telling me what to do who to go to that was sort of like what's led to the downfall that journey um after playing in tech after that for a while i decided you know what i want to do something that if people are about to set up anything especially mm -hmm. like in the digital space i want to be there to tell them don't do this do this mm -hmm. try this so yeah oh, that's incredible okay fair enough Okay, so now let's talk about advice that you have for the new cats. <laughs> because you have a lot of experience. Um, I mean, definitely. You've, I mean, the biggest experience, the biggest, the biggest thing you can learn from is losing something mm -hmm. and then building back from it. Mm -hmm. I think losing something teaches you, it definitely de teaches you a lot, mm -hmm. but also building back from it teaches you more than you can ever imagine. True. So, like, what advice do you have for not even necessarily in detail advice, but mm -hmm. just like general advice for new cats that are coming onto this space, looking for like the or they view the product, they're looking for like sponsors. They've do you get what I mean? Oh, I get you. Um, first of the first thing I would say to anyone who considers themselves new is we are all new because tech is ever changing. Mm -hmm. Like today it's something, tomorrow it's something else. That's a, that's a good right. one. So if you put that in the back of your mind, you won't get cocky. You will understand that whatever you're in could change tomorrow. So you consistently learn. So that kind of like leans to the advice okay. to consistently learn, grow. You could be valuable today in the company and the next day you are out because mm. like we already know that AI is, is here and it's here to stay. But that's like not the only thing. There's so much happening. Mm -hmm. um, so consistently learning, consistently growing is a key thing, I would say. Um, I would say... A lot of people in tech don't care much for policies and governments and economics. I think they should. Okay. I think they should care for it because it impacts us more than we assume that it does. Um, so paying attention to the business of tech, paying attention to the policies that govern wherever you are mm -hmm. is, is critical for growth. Without which you see people who today they have a job, tomorrow they don't have a job because they don't understand like there's a business of tech. They just want to mm -hmm. learn engineering and just be working for it doesn't. It doesn't mm -hmm. last long like that. So, yeah, I think those two things, still learning and um, pay attention to the business and the economics of things. Okay. All right. That's, that's very solid advice. So, um, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Do, are you, do you, like, how does Morpheus Academy work? Is it that people can just sign up? So, can you let viewers know if they're interested in building their career in tech? Yeah, sure. Um, so, we have uh, two cohorts every year. 
Okay. Um, we're currently running our second cohort, which ends next month. Okay. Um, the next one will start in February. How many February people on next average? Uh, we take in about 400, 500 students every cohort. Oh, wow. Yeah. Which is wild because we started with like 20 people. <laughs> so, um, okay. Uh, and you started in 2021? At the end of 2021, yes. That's then. incredible growth. I know. I know. At that time, we were just playing. I was just testing it out. I was teaching like 10 friends and then mm-hmm. 20 friends. And, mm-hmm. and I think we became like a proper structured academy um, mm-hmm. late last year. Mm-hmm. So, um, and we, in that time, we've had over a thousand students. So okay. our next cohort is in February. So anyone who is interested, you can follow um, Team Morpheus Academy on Instagram. Team Morpheus Academy? T, let it see, then okay, Morpheus T Academy. Okay, Morpheus Academy. Yeah, okay. On Instagram. And then um, sign up for the next program. Okay. So when it's time, we'll contact the students. We have okay. like a protocol to select in people okay. and then we're taking our students. Okay, do you need to submit anything? Like when you sign up, you just need to submit your name and your email. Do you need to submit any documents or no. anything? You don't yeah. need to submit anything. Basically, we just want to know your interest in learning. Because okay. it's easy to say, I want to learn this, but can you do it for three months? Mm-hmm. You know, And it's a virtual class. Can you actually be coming to class for three and months? Attention and can you work months. with people for three months? You know, yeah. There are times where I would take classes and my students would like those off and I would make jokes. I would tell everybody to unmute and say, stop snoring. Yeah. So like, can you tolerate that? Because people go to work while they're trying to learn this. So, yeah. All right, fair enough. I think that's very fair. So if you're looking to learn a new skill, Team Morpheus Academy on Instagram. Is it just Instagram? Um, no. So we have a website, themorphiusacademy.com. The Morpheus Academy? Yeah. Okay. The so themorphiusacademy.com and Team Morpheus Academy on Instagram to learn from Scott, who has obviously a lot of experience. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today and sharing me. some nuggets of wisdom. I find it very interesting to talk to people that are in tech because <laughs> it's, so, it's so different. And I think tech is kind of what's making every other job revolutionized quicker because it just keeps on growing like every single day. Like I think it balances. Did you say in a way? In a way, it balances. So everything that we see allows us to, tech is simply looking for an easier way to Mm -hmm. do anything. Mm -hmm. So Mm -hmm. something needs to be happening Mm -hmm. for tech to happen. So you need to do something and then we go, we could make this easy. Mm -hmm. So Mm -hmm. it's balances. So the revolution revolution is real. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you so much, like I said before, for hanging out with us and sharing all that juicy bits. Thank you for having me. Don't forget, for those of you at home, you can always join the conversation. Our Instagram is Spice TV underscore Africa. Until next time, my name is Valerie, and thank you for watching Today Dish. I'll see you soon. Thank you.